So of course there's the ending credits. Let me get my opinion, turn this down just a little bit. So for those who are around, you know, I played the main game. I played the original 1996 game back in October on an emulator. Real cool experience. Never played it before. Um, cool to see Mario in this type of uh, RPG environment. In, in this turn-based RPG environment. Uh, and I'm glad they took a lot of the Easter eggs a few of them I didn't show or I didn't uh, do or find but you know they kept some of the they kept most of the original game in this remake as well as adding a couple little things differently first off in the original game you couldn't switch teammates during battle you had to do that you know outside of battle um the whole triple power attack, whatever the hell that's supposed to be, that's new. It looked cool. Um, but outside of that, it was pretty much the same game. Same annoyances, same beanstalk jump. If you know, you know. <laughs> um... They did get rid of some, they did censor Valentina. You know, Valentina in the, in the original game had kind of had her cleavage hanging out. Uh, they covered her up and they took away the jiggle, phys the jiggle physics. So, definitely wasn't the, wasn't the experience. But they did keep Peach's mystery item in her room. They kept that. They kept that. Uh, Croc is annoying as ever. They did keep the the 2D Mario Easter egg in there. If you're in Booster's Tower and you go behind the the room that has the double curtains on it, you walk through that. He becomes um, Super Mario World Mario for a little bit. So that was a cool little Easter egg. I think in this game they have post-game battles that you can do. In the main game, I don't remember them uh, allowing that. I think once you beat the game, that was it in the original game. But other than that, I had a lot of... It was an interesting trip down memory lane with updated graphics. That's pretty much what I could say. I mean, I don't really have no complaints about a game like this. You know, I just enjoy... Oh, wow, that's dope. I like this cinematic outro. Yeah, like, it was a fun adventure. Real cool. The Easter eggs from the Cullux boss fight. I mean, the hidden boss fight with Cullux, which resembles some type of Final Fantasy boss or something like that. Um, I don't know what a reference, what other reference he's supposed to be from. You know, a lot of the little hidden missions. The the final six rooms in Bowser's Keep is, you know, them always going to be a headache, especially that that question. Room. If you didn't know what to, if you didn't know what to look for with the with the puzzle floor, then yeah, that could have been annoying too. Hopefully this playthrough helps somebody. Um, but the music was good. You know, the, the music was decent. Oh. Yeah, oh, this is new. Pop 
the fireworks. Gino came down just to view it with his friends. And Bowser. Back to Star Road. And there should have a question mark at the end of that because it's supposed to be post game, post game, post story content. Post game for yeah. You, I got you a present. Stay voucher. Stay, stay a night up to, stay the night to rest up in the Marymore Hotel Suite before the last push. That's all I have for you. Enjoy. It. 